Welcome to our new video. This is the Philips Series 3000. We reviewed this shaver for you and you'll find everything you need to know in this video. So just stay tuned. Let's get started with the Philips Series 3000. Before we get to the practical test, we'll first give you an overview of the product in our Features and Technology section. The Series 3000 is a rotary shaver. As the name suggests, it therefore has a total of three rotating blades. These precision blades are built into movable plates and are also flexible in themselves. Together with the shaving head, which is also movable, this allows the shaver to follow the contours of the face. The shaver can be used for both dry and wet shaving and is waterproof so that it can also be used in the shower. A precision trimmer is integrated into the device for fine trimming or pre-trimming. This can be folded out as required and is simply pushed back into its original position when the job is done. Compared to other shavers on the market, the rechargeable battery delivers a pretty decent performance. 60 minutes of shaving time are available on a full charge. It then takes just as long, so 60 minutes, to fully recharge the battery. If you're running low, the shaver also has a quick charge function. This means that you can charge it for 5 minutes and still get enough power to complete a short shaving cycle. The battery status can be monitored via the display. Three levels are shown here so that you can better estimate when the device needs to be connected to the power supply. Unfortunately, there is no mains operation. Accordingly, the shaver will not work when it is in charging mode. Unlike most other shavers, the Series 3000 unfortunately does not have a key lock. This would have certainly been desirable, but from our point of view, it is still acceptable in this price range. As far as the scope of delivery is concerned, we have a basic kit. This means that we get the power adapter, a simple travel bag, and a protective cap for the blades. And that's pretty much it. By the way, you can find all the links in the description below the video. You will find the product there as well, of course. So let's get into detail now. We took a closer look at the shaver. There's nothing to complain about in terms of workmanship. All parts fit neatly together and make a well-made impression. With Philips shavers in particular, it has to be said that the devices look a little more fragile than the competitor devices from Braun. But in the end, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Other than that, the Series 3000 comes with an ergonomic design with a non-slip rubber handle, which means that the shaver sits comfortably and securely in the hand. Nevertheless, the whole thing has to be put into perspective. Compared to the Series 5000, for example, the shaver somehow seems a little small and bulky. On the whole, it can be said that not much has really changed if you compare it to the earlier designs, as can be seen in a direct comparison with the old Philoshave. In terms of handling, the Series 3000 feels a bit like it used to, but for the low price, this is definitely still a good thing. In terms of operation and handling, the shaver benefits from the fact that the blades and head are movable. As a result, it follows the contours of the face well. This is a fundamental advantage of rotary shavers, which is why they work particularly well on angled areas, such as the chin. The disadvantage, on the other hand, is that rotary shavers are somewhat more difficult to use than foil shavers. Why? Because in order to use a rotary shaver effectively, you have to shave using a special technique in which you move over the skin in small circular movements. You do get used to this technique over time, but it's not always that easy to do and can be a bit tiring. Apart from that, there's not much to consider while operating the device. Everything works simply and intuitively. The only thing we would have liked to see is a little more movement in the shaving head, but even that was still okay in this price range. The integrated precision trimmer is a useful extra in the daily routine. In our opinion, it also does its job very well. It's a shame that it can only be attached from above. If you attach it from below, the trimmer simply folds away and can therefore only be used to a limited extent or not at all. We would have liked it better if the trimmer could be fixed in all directions when unfolded. A great strength of the Series 3000 is that it is very comfortable to work with. At 187 grams, it is comparatively light, has hardly any vibration in the handpiece, and the blades get lukewarm on the skin after two to two and a half minutes of shaving at best. At around 59 decibels, the shaver is also one of the quieter ones we reviewed. Only the noise itself could be a little more pleasant. It sounds quite high-pitched and somehow a little choppy. On the whole, however, it is okay and didn't bother us too much in the end. And now let's see what our colleague Chris has to say. He put the Philips 3000 to the test for us in regards to the everyday use and gathered a lot of experience in the process. Yes, I've been testing dozens of different razors for weeks now and came to one important conclusion. And this basically applies to all the razors I've tested. Namely, don't believe the advertising. The advertising suggests that you basically go over it once and all the hair is gone. 
This is simply not the case, regardless of whether you have a razor for 50 or one for several hundred bucks. So what exactly does that mean? Basically, there are differences between the individual razors in the sense of one shaves a little better and the other shaves a little worse. But they all have the same basic problem. That is, that they do shave, but in certain places, such as the neck, a few hairs may remain. I would therefore recommend, and this applies to all devices, shave at relatively short intervals. In other words, every day or at least every two days. And if you can't or don't want to do this, then pre-trim your beard at least once, and then just do the finishing touches with the razor. So, let's get down to the Philips 3000, and I'll go through the points with you. First point, I think it feels pleasant on the skin, and I also think it's a bit better than the Braun devices. My second point is that I don't have any big protruding structures around the blades. This ensures that I can see very clearly where I am working while standing in front of the mirror. The third point is the feeling of safety, which I think is very high. I never once had the feeling that I could cut myself with it or to say it in another way. It didn't tug once, so everything was fine. I'm also very happy with the device when it comes to skin irritation. I was a little surprised because it's a relatively inexpensive device. I would have thought that we end up with some sore spots, where the device unfortunately does have to make compromises is in the shaving performance. Don't get me wrong, it gets the beard off. But, how can I put it, there are simply devices that can do it a bit better. How about wet shaving? Yes, that's another point that I can answer across all devices, because I don't think there were any major differences between the individual shavers. What I can say is, yes, you can do it, and yes, it works. But you also have to ask yourself, does it make any sense at all? And that's the big question in my opinion. Personally, I think that if I'm going to put some shaving cream on my face anyway, then I might as well use a wet razor and end up with a better result than with an electric one. However, there is an advantage for all those who like to shave in the shower. You don't cut yourself as quickly. I don't want to give the impression that you can't cut yourself with it, but not as quickly as with a wet razor. Of course, this is especially advantageous when you're shaving in the shower and don't have a mirror available. And as a reminder, you can find the link to the product in the description below the video. And if the video was helpful to you, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. To ensure that the shaver can do its job for as long as possible, it is of course important to clean it regularly. To do this, simply press the small button on the front, the shaving head pops up, and you have the option of carefully tapping it out and then rinsing it under running water. Basically, this is all easy and no problem. On the other hand, however, we find that the design is somewhat prone to breakage and that tapping out with the shaving element folded out like that doesn't work so well in the end. Admittedly, you can pull off the shaving element, but still, we wonder how long this joint will hold. Let's move on to the blades, and as it's often the case with blades, they will eventually become blunt. The manufacturer therefore recommends changing the blade system every 24 months. Until then, however, you should actually have some peace of mind. The built-in blades are self-sharpening and therefore counteract wear and tear. Let's come to the conclusion. With the Philips Series 3000, you get a shaver in the affordable price range that even exceeds this classification in some regards. Admittedly, a mains operation, key lock, and overall just a few more features and accessories. Yes, that would have been nice. But, in terms of the overall package itself, the device does a good job considering its price point. It is comfortable on the skin, you can see well where you are working with it, and we also like the shaver in terms of skin irritation. In our opinion, the slightly more expensive series shave a little better, but to be honest, you don't necessarily need to spend tons of money in order to get a decent shave. On the contrary, even the Series 3000 provides suitable results for everyday use in our opinion. So if you are looking for an inexpensive appliance and also feel comfortable with rotary shavers and the associated shaving technology, you will certainly be satisfied with this shaver. So, we checked out this shaver for you. If you are interested in the product, take a look at the description below the video. You'll find all the links there. Otherwise, stay tuned. Our end card will provide a few interesting suggestions for you.